Hey guys, Eddie here with Cornhole Bag Reviews. Today we got another one of the new fire bags, the Fire Incinerator. Uh, before we start, Patreon shout out for the day. We got uh, Nathan Everson. Nathan, thanks for the support, man. Really appreciate it, it means a lot. Thanks to all the patrons as well. You know, the support's been great. Hopefully we can keep getting more bags to review for you guys and keep doing things. So if you wanna check out the patron, patron will be low, below in the description. Really helps out the channel, helps me get more for you guys. We'll be doing giveaways on there. But Nathan, big shout out, man. Thanks for the support. Let's get into the fire bag. Uh, the fire bag today, the fire incinerator. This bag's really sweet, actually. Uh, I didn't think I would like it because if you look at it, it's got that big template that fire has, you know, same as the 11.5, that big square template. But this bag is flipping hole friendly. I mean, it, it just goes in. And honestly, this being bigger, it just catches the hole and goes in. Uh, we're looking at speeds. We're looking at around a seven to nine. You know, it, it, it plays great in humidity. Uh, these materials do not stick up. That seven side, you know, that same seven material that we talk about all the time. You know, slow side of the amnesia, slow side of vipers with no dots. We got the fast side of dopes, a lot of carpet bags. I mean, a lot of people use this material. It's really great, feels wonderful, slides well in humidity. And the fast side, fast side almost feels like a game changer, but it's a little bit different weave. I think it's some kind of polyester weave, uh, very similar speeds uh, in that nine range, but cuts through humidity well. Um, they feel great. So break-in method on these. I just did a hot water soak and tumble. As you guys can see, these things flop up pretty good. They were really broken in out of the box. You know, fire with their bigger template, they, they don't come too chunky, so they break in pretty quick. These materials also break in really quick, but they, they started just throwing them a little bit and that one little tumble, they broke in real fast. They're playing great now. Um, you know, template, like I said, it's that big, bigger square that fire uses, you know, nice stitch with the cross stitch going across design. Got that same fire design that they have on all their other bags. These are the green ones, but you know, you got to throw fire in the back, the fire swirl with the incinerator. You know, I like the design. Um, I, I, I like some of their other designs as well. I'm glad they do like the super bag rows and some other ones, but this design's clean. You know, they use it on all their bags, but you know, stick with something that works. You know, they like it. I don't think it looks bad. Uh, in terms of the fill, we got kind of like a combo fill here. We got some small asymmetrical bead. We got some small disc, uh, kind of, makes like a smorgasbord of beads, but it does fit great in the hand. You know, I get a comfortable handhold on this thing because um, it's a little bit bigger of a bag, but still grips well. I get a solid grip on it. I normally have small hands, so I don't like the bigger bags, but this one actually I can hold really well. I do enjoy it. Uh, we went through flop, decently floppy. Uh, price point, you know, price point on these, we're looking at that $50 plus shipping. So again, another thing I really like about Fire, staying in that reasonable price area. They're not jacking up the prices even with having some of the best players in the world. They make a high quality product at a good price. A lot of people you know, have Fire bags and are selling Fire bags on the Facebook page and whatnot, but I mean, you can't beat these bags for that price. These are ACL Pro stamped. You know, I know a lot of, I was watching some of Jamie Graham's live streams and stuff, and he said he's gonna be switching between these and the Vengeances. You know, they were using these at the Pro Shootout Championship. Uh, this bag's really hole friendly, plays well. It's another great bag from Fire, and I think it's gonna be one of their top selling lines if you like that bigger templated bag. And even if you don't like that bigger templated bag, it still plays surprisingly nice and uh, nicer than I was expecting it to play. I enjoy it more than I thought I would, so. We'll get into throwing some shots here. Uh, it is a little humid today, which uh, helps these bags a little bit. They're not crazy fast. They still slide up the board super well. There's that whole friendliness. I mean, it just caught the corner of the bag, slid right in there. So that's kind of the perk of these being bigger because they're that faster speed. Stay right. Oh, missed the four back. But because they're that faster speed and being so whole friendly, the big template actually kind of works because, you know, in the little bit slower models that they had, they could hang up a little bit because they were so big, but these just kind of catch and fall in, kind of like a game changer does. You know, if you've ever thrown a game changer, they're a big, they're a big bag too, a big template, but they grab the hole and go in. And I would say these are fairly similar to that. They really grab and go in well. Go for an arrow. Ooh, a little short. I saw that teeny bit of corner hanging over and I got ambitious. <laughs> but again, I was saying I have smaller hands and yet this bag is still comfortable to throw. That was a little, 
Real quick up the back. You know, it's feels nice. Comes off the hand really consistently, actually. And that big square template, it feels consistent every time. They just climb the board. These things are whole friendly. This is all slow side too. That push side does push. Let's see if I can try to throw in a little higher layout block because that push side is nice and quick. It goes in and around very easily. Blocks and pushes are what you're doing with this bag. Honestly, you're probably shooting for the hole more than, ah, oh, Corbin. Why'd you ruin my video? Just trying to lay a block. All right, well, these blocks aren't that good. It's hard to block with this fast of a bag. I guess we're not blocking that round. <laughs> Corbin showed up at the front of the board here. I got nervous, couldn't lay a block. Starstruck by Corbin's appearance. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can lay a block this time. There we go. We'll go fast side. Honestly, I can push through this with slow side totally fine. We'll go nice and easy fast side. Push through fine. We can lay another block. Oh, a little too quick. Again, these just climbed the board. And it's pretty humid right now. I mean, it's like 80% humidity. My surefires were sticking pretty good. These just, these go, they don't really care much. Even when it's later and even stickier, these things are still sliding real nice. Very forgiving. They do not kick, even for how big they are. They just are really consistent to throw. And I've actually been enjoying my time with them. So I know a lot of people, if you don't like fire bags, Definitely suggest giving them a try. You know, I just released that review of the Vengeance. I like what they're doing there with that smaller template, different speeds, different materials, different fill. I think those feel great. These are kind of back to their roots a little bit, but still really nice. And I can understand why the pros are using this as a go-to. You know, the speeds are kind of right with the pros like using. Oh, a little left again. That's seven, nine speed. Just the fact that it's this hole friendly. Oh, come on. Try to aim. There we go. I start thinking of a new thought or a sentence right before I'm about to throw and then cuts right in your mental space. If any of you guys, when you're playing blind draw or something, someone tries to talk to you while you're throwing and you find it hard, just imagine you're trying to come up with things that are relevant to say during a review and still throwing well. Here's a nice little block. I'll throw a fast side, I don't need to, but I'll just throw a nice easy fast side. Slide up nice. We'll do one more down back. You know, I've been really enjoying my time with these. Again, I took them out of the package. I was like, you know, I really don't like these bigger bags. You know, I'm more of a smaller bag guy myself, but I just can't stop throwing them to be honest. I've just been enjoying my time with them. Just grab the hole nice. I love the speeds. This is. Right in my wheelhouse when it gets a tad sticky. There's a nice little four piece. Try to end with one more good round here at the end here. But again, I mean, for this price point, you can't beat it. I really like when companies stick to their roots, stay where they're at, you know, make a good product. They ship quick. And a lot of people order and they get their bags in like two days, fire. They only release when they have stuff in stock and they ship right away, which I can really appreciate. Airmail to finish. Oh yeah. Airmails to finish have been good lately. It's nice, all the practice doing these reviews. All right, the fire incinerator. I think this bag's gonna be their go-to for pros. This and the vengeance. Uh, when it's sticky, this is gonna be the go-to. I mean. Even though it's bigger, crazy hole friendly, really nice to throw. Been enjoying my time with it. Uh, great bag, you know, appreciate Fire sending me out a set to review. I think you guys are really gonna like these at a great price point. So appreciate you stopping by for another review. If you like this stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next episode and have a great day. Thanks guys.